went in through the walls of the house. Mm -hmm. The walls at the main house are nearly two feet thick. Wow. They're yeah. solid, tabby cement. Gamble expected he might have a hurricane. Mm -hmm. But he also knew he could insulate this house against our Florida summer heat. The architecture is Greek Revival, as evidenced by the 18 Doric columns, the colonnades on the west. I say he was an aristocrat, that's up to debate, but he certainly had aristocratic airs. I tell you folks also, this house speaks to me, it speaks of survival, it speaks of self-reliance. If you choose, it could speak to you. Come in, please. What do you need to do? Ma'am, you lead the way. First room on your left will join you there in the parlor. You can conveniently carry a twist of tobacco in your pocket or your purse. Huh? Have a chaw as necessary. <laughs> oh my God. If you're in this office, you're looking for these. Where's the spittoons? Yeah. Could, would, you mind, would you mind putting a candle up for me if so I can get it on video? Wow. Okay. Cool. <laughs> That's cool. Gamble Gold Sugar Mill on downstream to the Gulf of Mexico. At the height of operations here, there were 3,500 acres and 190 slaves. Oh, wow. This plantation and all plantations were dependent on slave mm -hmm. labor. They cleared this land, they planted the crops, they cultivated, harvested, and processed those crops. Those people are not forgotten. We know who they were, mm -hmm. we know their names, and they are memorialized by name. There was a cobbler who worked on that bench. If you had a good cobbler, you got a right and a left. If he wasn't so good, you oh. got a pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> These appliances yeah. are the agitators to wash your clothes. Oh, oh you right. know my mom had a stick when I was little. You see what that says right there? Lead tag. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like you never go, go, never breaks down with that. Looks <laughs> like you got one step. Outside the back door would be a vegetable garden: corn, potatoes, squash, carrots, peas, and beans. We have animals on this plantation. We have oxen and horses and goats and pigs and sheep. We have dairy cows. We have beef cattle. We have chickens, and we have fresh eggs for breakfast every morning. Wow. Eggs, fried potatoes, grits, bacon, sausage, fresh fruit, coffee, juice. Well, if you can avoid the naval blockade, you can get to Cuba. And in Cuba, you can buy cannons and cannonballs and eat some blankets and mushrooms and things. You can smuggle that comfortable to the land of the coast and the new And our story is continued. On the veranda. That's why I told you. It's tough. They're right. You should see me going up lighthouse. Can't get the leg up that high. It's like that. I think it's amazing, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I give you the captain. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> we're going to leave the captain right here. We'll come back and visit with him later. Uh.
Turning the clock back again to the year 1811, Judah Benjamin was born in the West Indies. <clears throat> he was a British subject. He lived with his parents in New Orleans. Judah Benjamin was a child prodigy. When he was eight years old, he spoke five languages to her. Thank you. It was very interesting. Thank you.